In this video, TM1638 module is programmed to execute multiple applications. The applications include a frequency counter, temperature and humidity display, bar graph display, and display of scrolling text. In this project, the TM1638 is programmed to execute five different functions. On the screen, we see instruction which says select 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So pressing S1 will execute the frequency counter program, and the input to the frequency counter will be through digital pin D5. Pressing S2 will display the temperature and humidity on the display, coming from the DHT sensor connected to digital pin D6 of the Arduino. Pressing S3 will display a 16 level bar graph and the bar graph level is controlled by this uh, potentiometer connected to analog A7 of the Arduino. Pressing S4 will display a scrolling text on the display and the speed of the scroll will be controlled by this potentiometer. And pressing S5 will display an 8-bit binary count the speed of the count can be controlled by this pot and for the binary count and for the scrolling text we can exit the uh, function by just pressing S8 and now for a quick demonstration we press S1 to get the frequency counter and pressing S1 again will take us back to the main menu pressing S2 will give us the temperature in Celsius and the humidity in percentage we press S2 again and we go back to the main menu. Pressing S3 will give us the 16 level bar graph display and we can change the value of the bar graph by changing the potentiometer value. Pressing S3 again will take us back to the main menu. Pressing S4 will give us the scrolling text and we can increase or decrease the speed of the scroll by changing the pot value. Pressing S8 to exit the function and go back to the main menu. Finally, pressing S5 gives us the 8-bit binary count and we can control the speed of the count by the potentiometer and pressing S8 will exit the count and take us back to the main menu. The C++ code used in this project is shown here. Now most part of this code was described in my previous videos. I recommend you go back and watch my previous videos to fully understand the code. A link to the code will be provided in the video description. In a future video, more functionalities will be added to the TM1638 module. Thank you for watching.